hello everyone hope you're all okay right i've just been uh making a birthday card i need a birthday card for someone i thought oh what can i do quickly and then i'd remembered that i've got a load of cards left that i'll show you in a minute that i made ages ago ages probably a couple of years ago when i first did them and these are the ones that i've got left so what i've done is i've got the base card they're jelly prints so i've put a jelly print on a base card uh let's see if i can find you another one you know this one look that's what it was like to start with i put the jelly print on uh and then this this is a bit of a tip for anybody that doesn't already know to put glitter on what i did was I got some double sided tape and just ran it down there, peeled the back off and sprinkled glitter on and you've got an easy glitter trim. I can't remember whether I just thought of that myself or whether I'd seen it somewhere. Don't know, can't remember that, but that's what I do. And then uh, I, I've just left them blank and then I put the greetings on as and when I want them. Uh, but I... I don't know I just felt it was a bit plain so I've I've got these little flowers I've been hunting through my drawers thinking oh, what can I use and then I found these little flowers that I've got left and these were from it's uh, textured wallpaper and just a minute I'll show you these I use text different textured wallpapers when I'm doing jelly printing and that and that's that's what that was but it's this is on the reverse of some textured wallpaper. I must have got paint on it and just decided to doodle. I can't, I can't remember. It's that long ago since I've made these. But I know I made loads of those. I've given loads of those away in Happy Mail. Uh, and, yeah, I just felt it was a bit plain just with birthday greetings on. So I just stuck some of those just on there and I think that's really pretty now it's just a bit different I suppose I could have gone around the edges with a pen or something but I didn't um, it won't pick it up on here I don't think I don't think but I've actually gone over the card with some Mod Podge oh and this one I went over the card I thought it was a bit flat the paint's flat so I went over the card with Mod Podge and I went over the glitter as well and it just took the shine off so on this one I have actually gone over it again with stickles on that one so I'm quite pleased with that this one I'm going to go over all of them, I think, with some Mod Podge, as I obviously... I think I just got into doing, playing with my jelly plate, and I thought, oh, I'll make some cards. I say, this must... a lot of you have probably already seen these. I'm pretty sure I showed them. But, yeah, they're just... I just thought I'd come on and show you. But that's it. It's a real good idea, I think, the easy way of putting a bit of a glitter strip or you have just thought seeing these circles you could if you've got bigger sheets of the double sided it's going to be nothing new I'm sure there's thousands of people do it bigger sheets of the double sided you could um, you know punch circles out or something or whatever shapes so that one that one that one say a lot of them I want to look it's just flat I don't know whether at the time I hadn't discovered Mod Podge I don't know but it's just flat it needs something else doing to them that was a real plain one no tape no tape on that one that one I think that must just be actually I've probably done that because that feels like a ridge there I probably did do that with some circles I don't know I cannot remember oh my hands are so cold 
That one looks as though it's probably had Mod Podge on. It's a little bit shiny. Yeah, and that one. Envelopes, envelopes. That's a flat one again. Oh, no, it's shiny. It's a bit of silver on there. I apologise if you've already seen these. I'm, just saying, I'm sure I've shown them before. If I remember rightly, these the cards and envelopes I got from a little craft shop we used to go to, and I think that it was I think I got three cards, three pieces of this out of one. Is that about right, or was it four? Could have been four out of an A4 sheet, and there wasn't a lot of waste. But that particular shop doesn't sell that size envelope anymore. Which is a bit of a bummer. I know I could make my own. Not envelope, cards. They don't sell these cards and envelopes to that size anymore. And that one, I say, all oh, just my painty paper, jelly prints. That one and that one. Oh dear, I've got so much I mean, stuff there. It's just silly. <laughs> but I'm getting on well with using things up. I'm forever trying to organise things and put them where I sort of won't forget where they are. It's a never ending job, isn't it? Unless you've got a huge craft room. But I still think that whatever size your craft room, you, you just grow to it. <laughs> If you've got one the size of a whole house, you would still buy and buy and buy and buy and buy until it was full up and you'd need another house. But yeah, that's basically what I was coming on to show you. I think that's really pretty. I'd like to receive that. Right, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.